mean, do y'all hear that? That hissing? I mean, look at that. <laughs> so this is now Norris. <laughs> this little dude, okay. so mean. Just so mean. Just so mean. I mean, look at it. I, I gotta wear gloves. I'm definitely getting in yeah. But look at this. Look at this, just nonstop. I mean, like and subscribe and share if y'all got a defensive snake like this one. I mean, my boy just don't ease up. I mean, he just always on 10, like, never stops. Like, he just on it. Look, my boy just on it. Look, you know, you just got to keep him focused. You don't want to take one of those to the face. Ooh, wouldn't be nice. Look at my boy just, I can't even walk by the cage. He's striking at the cage, you know. It is kind of getting ridiculous, but... This is my boy, Allen Iverson. So as you can see, he's doing well. Look at his size. I mean, it's getting pretty big. You know, they don't get as big as the Colombians, but this is a Central American, also known as the Nicaraguan bow constrictor. And you can see my, my dude is not the nicest, but you know, he's a work in progress. So you gotta be patient at reptiles. Not all of them are gonna be like the ones you just seen. Some of them are gonna be like this guy, you know, just like this guy, just wanna strike his stuff. Just wanna strike his stuff and be naughty. A naughty little guy, but I, I want to keep him focused on my hands so he can stay away from my face. You know, because I don't want to get a, a bite to this beautiful face right here. Look at that. <laughs> y'all see me flinch a little bit. I'm putting it in slow motion for y'all. Alright, I'm going to put this little guy up so he don't get too stressed out. But my Central American bullet constrictor. I don't think I need my gloves or my snake hook for Lucy. I'm going to show you guys what tap trained is. Because anytime I go by her cage, she's looking for food. So let me show you what you do to a snake that you just so happen to feed in its cage. You have to get a tap, tra tap trained. I mean, that's the only way. You gotta get a tap trained. So show y'all what that looks like. Now she's looking for food. Now, why would I be a fool? I just reached my hand in there, right? So instead of doing that, I'm gonna tap train her and I'm gonna tap her to let her, let her know that, hey, this is not feeding time. I'm about to pick you up and show you up to the camera time. So you ain't going there. Touch your head. There's no food. Okay. Touch your head. She knows. Okay, now I didn't touch her. Let her know this is not what feeding time feel, feels like. Okay, so now I can just go in here and grab her, right? And that's how you successfully tap train your snake. Okay, so I just kind of showed y'all how to tap train a snake, right? Why is that beneficial? Because you don't want to take a bite from a bull constrictor this size. That's most likely going to result in a trip to the hospital. And we don't want you guys to go to the hospital. So we got to show you guys the right, the right way to do things. So now she wants to give me kisses and stuff after just looking for food. But as you can see, she's not interested in biting me. She's interested in a mouse, a prey item that she eats. So... As you can see, my girl Lucy just always likes to move around and is a very active snake. Boa constrictors are most commonly known, known to be slightly arboreal as well. So they're very good climbers, which means they can lift their body weight pretty well. And that's not an issue for them. And look at the strength. I mean, she has my wrist wrap, you know. Am I going to jail? Like, why do you have me wrapped up like this? Like, I don't understand. Like, look at like. Like, she's trying to go to the ceiling. I mean, like, look at this. Yeah, she's trying to get on the ceiling so she get on the ceiling fan. You know I can't let you do that, girl. I can't let you do that. I can't let you get up. It's going to be a mess trying to get a strong snake like this down from the ceiling fan. I mean, it's almost impossible. I wouldn't even try it, you know? So, that being said, I just wanted to give you guys an update on Lucy. I'm probably going to breed Lucy with Allen Iverson. Hopefully, they don't have no mean babies like Allen Iverson. But I know there's going to be some beautiful specimens.
considering that she's a hypo Colombian boa constrictor, and that is the Central American, also known as the Nicaraguan boa constrictor. And the babies, I, I kind of wonder what, what, what the babies are going to look like. Are they going to be big or small? You know, are they going to come out Colombian boa size? Are they going to come out Nicaraguan or Central American boa size? But don't forget to like, share this video if you got a defensive snake that always tries to bite you. Share the video if you got a boa constrictor just as gentle and sweet as Lucy after you tap her because she's tap trained. But don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share my videos to your family, your friends, and all of you loved ones. I got one more snake to show y'all, and this one is not the most friendly, but this is my mangrove snake, and it wouldn't be a full video if I didn't show you my mangrove snake. Last but not least, let me show y'all my mangrove snake. So now we'll be handling my mangrove snake. So she appears to be very alert tonight and very interested in what I'm doing tonight and very observant of the room. So I can expect her to be very reactive. So I'm gonna be handling her and I kinda just want you guys to see it. I'm kinda excited, a little bit nervous at the same time. But stay tuned, we'll be right with you guys, showing you the mangrove snake. Don't get scared, cause you're gonna make me get scared. Sight, you know, I didn't buy an animal to be scared of it, you know, but kinda want you guys to see this animal that comes from the mangrove of Asia, which where the mangrove snake preys on this animal. There's a lot of predators, there's one the lizard, the, the mangrove monitor lizards. I mean, there's just all type of things. This is a swampy area, you got crocodiles. But I'm gonna get into it right now, show you guys a mangrove snake. Give you guys an update on how she's doing. Even though she's not eating, she appears to still be growling. So it's probably not in anyone's best interest to be free handling a venomous snake. But for the sake of this video, I don't think my mangrove snake poses that much of a threat to where I wouldn't be able to handle her without instruments but as you can see look how big this girl is i mean i have a professional and you can see she's very interested in me tonight i mean look at this i mean look at her behavior i mean just look at it look how big i have like an eight foot mangrove snake this has to be like an adult and it's kind of hard to hold the snake up snake hook up with her but she's pretty heavy i mean darn it but you can see she's doing pretty good though you know, um, she's very interested in what's going on in here, you know, and I kind of got her over this water because she likes to poop when she gets defensive. She's not much of a striker, but she will just straight spray you, you know what I mean? You know, she she's not hesitant to spray, you know, and maybe one day I'll be able to breed mangrove snakes. And hopefully her temperament is passed down to the offspring because she doesn't appear to be much of a biter but she will miss you if you know what i mean so i want to give you guys an update on my mangrove snake kids stay away from venomous snakes they can be pretty dangerous and they don't really want to hurt you kids they really want to be left alone they don't want you to do what i'm doing right now they don't want you to do that kids so stay away from venomous snakes and they'll stay away from you Mostly, unless you live in Asia or something. So. See, this girl is pretty hard to manage just based on her size. So, this is my main girl snake. I'm gonna put her up and let her get back to her thing. This girl is giving me a workout, but this is a main girl snake. Ladies and gentlemen, children stay away from venomous snakes and they won't harm you don't do what i'm doing right now she doesn't want to use her venom she doesn't want to uh -oh. she doesn't want to use her venom on me but if i keep messing with her aggravating her she will use her venom on me so you just want to make sure that you always take the precautionary methods if you're going to handle a venomous snake. I would advise you all to not handle a venomous snake. But if you do want to be foolish like myself and handle a venomous snake, just be safe. And try to use instruments and tools that will keep you safe. PPE is what they call it sometimes. But you want to use the correct gear. And this will help the animals stay safe and this will also help you be safe. But don't do what I'm doing right now. This is very foolish 
And that this snake really wanted to, there's really nothing stopping her from biting me if she really wanted to. I mean, look, this is a monster mangrove snake. I mean, she's about like, I never even realized how big she is. It's crazy because she hasn't even eaten for me. But just look how, look at the size of this thing. I mean, this is about seven feet. I mean, she's longer than Lucy and very athletic. They say this is a good beginner snake if you do want to mess with like inland top pins, the mambas, the green mambas, the black mambas. If you want to mess with anything or bore you, this is a good start because it's not extremely toxic, but it'll give you that feel for a snake that can double back on its body very easy. It has the ability to fully lift its body weight and strike at angles and lift its body weight up, you know? So you kind of just want to be safe, you know? You don't want to give the snake just an easy strike range. You want to just be safe and keep the animal safe. That was pretty cool. Nothing was actually stopping her and she just fell in the water. Crazy girl. But I use that water there because she likes to mist. She's not much of a biter, but she will miss you. So I plan on breeding her in the future. <laughs> I gotta get a male mangrove snake, but I plan on breeding them in the future and hopefully her genetics are passed down. The mangrove snakes that don't wanna bite, but they just rather miss you. Cause she's not very much of a striker considering that mangrove snakes are very defensive. So you gotta make sure that when you get a mangrove snake, ideally you wanna get a baby, that way you can kind of raise it up and tame it. I ain't gonna say tame it, but it'll be more manageable because it'll be used to you and by then it probably won't be so defensive once it reaches this size similar to her so she's not the most defensive snake in the world however she will poop on you so hopefully if she passes that down in her offspring where we don't have a bunch of biting mangrove snakes even though that's going to be natural for them but i'm going to go ahead and put this girl up and let her get back in her cage thank you all for watching make sure you like share and leave a comment and let me know what you want to see more of let me know if you want me to do some more mangrove videos let me know if you want me to, me to do some more sugar rider videos even though obi was been the best sugar rider in the world and not giving me a hard time at all by sticking his claws in me and sticking his teeth in me and crabbing you know you guys got were able to hear that but make sure you like and subscribe and thank you for watching hit that notification bell i'm out